So now that we have our local environment going, we can go ahead and run a couple of these examples locally. Um, again, being call contract and call contract with token. So I'm going to go back to the readme with instructions on how to, one, deploy them, and then two, run them. So here, I can just copy and paste this guy. So this is running that deploy function. Um, the expected parameter of that is the environment. So um, in this case, we're running it locally, i.e. against um, each of the five ports that we've uh, deployed here. So we hit go. Um, you will see that um, we deployed um, our sample. Uh, I, I can walk through this in a second, but we, we, just, uh, we deployed our sample solidity file. Um, on each of these five uh, EVM chains that we support and logging out the contract addresses for each of those as well. So that's deploying it and then to run it um, we're sending this script here. Th this runs the test script remember right um, and that test script um, for every given example has um, expected parameters that go into it. So for um, this call contract example, you see that the parameters are in this order, um, what the environment is, what the source chain is, what the destination chain is, and what our message is going to be. So here we're sending this message called hello world from Moonbeam to Avalanche. So let me go ahead and copy that into this. All right, so this is rather quick because we, we did this all locally. but. Um, what we're saying here is that um, the contract that we deployed on our local Avalanche instance here has a um, local variable called value. And from Moonbeam, we updated that value um, on Avalanche to hello world. So um, kind of cool. <laughs> Let's uh, walk through the code for that a little bit. So each one of our contracts um, that we deploy um, on these chains uh, has to be of type I or executable, right? This is the interface that we use here. And these contracts have an internal method called, um, called execute that we annotate with an underscore. So when you have a message that's passed from chain A to chain B, um, this execute method on chain B will be invoked. Um, on command. And you see that, um, and this would be, a if you're familiar with JavaScript, this, this would be analogous in my mind to a callback, basically, where this callback is taking the um, payload that's passed in via bytecode, um, decoding that into um, the string value, and then setting um, the values of each of value, source chain, and source address to the, to the parameters that were passed in. So um, you see those values that were stored here. Um, the way that we have this set up, we have this e executable sample. Um, we have the same contract deployed on all five of our chains, right? So if you're sending from chain A to chain B, once it gets to chain B again, this is the execute method that's run. But when you're running, um, when you're invoking from the source chain, this is the method on the source chain that we run. Um, and I can show you in this test file where that's actually done. Right, so in this test method, you see the first few lines are um, instantiating um, this test environment with a local key deployer that we have um, using instance, uh, using rather ethers JS to um, establish um, the signer for each one of these uh, chains as well. Um, the actual place where the source chain method is run is here on line 52. Right, so you see we're, we're passing in here to this method um, the name of the destination chain, um, the contract in question, as well as the message that we are passing in, which we, we passed in as an argument in our CLI. Um, so that's the call contract method. Um, the call contract with token example, um, I'll just run through what that does before we actually invoke it, but um, same kind of setup where we go to our distribution executable. You see it's of form I axler, ex of form I axler executable as well. Um, the method that would be invoked from any source chain would be send to many. And in the callback, um, because we're calling call contract with token, um, the, the internal method that's called 
um, on this contract is execute with token, right? So here we are decoding the payload that comes in, where the expectation of it is an array of addresses. Um, we're grabbing the token address for that, and we're distributing the amount of tokens that are pass passed in amongst each of the um, recipients that were passed in the, uh, into the CLI. So basically an airdrop, right? Where you're saying, um, just to put a simple example on it, I want to transfer uh, 10 USDC to Khan and Sergey, something like that. So that, that's basically what we're doing here. Um, and you, if we go to my index.js file, um, we see that uh, the method that's invoked from the source chain perspective is indeed the send to many um, method that we saw in that executable. So with that said, let's go ahead and deploy and run this example. Um, if I scroll down a little bit, this is the call contract with token example. And I'll copy this. Perfect. Those are all of our token addresses, or rather our uh, contract addresses. And here, all right, I'm going to change up some parameters here. Um, I want to send this from, sure, Moonbeam. I'm just going to say Avalanche because if you saw my prior video, um, that was a that was a network that I set up in my in my uh, MetaMask. And for the destination addresses, so you'll see here, sorry, just to go through this real quick. Um, this script here, uh, as you're running the tests, the parameters are what your environment is, what your source chain is, what your destination chain is, what amount, and then what accounts you want to airdrop the uh, amounts to equally would be, right? So um, that's what the subsequent parameters would be. So let me just grab a couple of other addresses that I have on my MetaMask. <laughs> Call this throwaway. All right, so here we're sending to this address and this address um, 100 um, USDC that we would split equally uh, between those two recipients going from Moonbeam to Avalanche. All right, so again, this is rather quick because we ran it against our local environment, but you see here on Avalanche, um, this guy has roughly 50. Um, it's, well, it's 50 minus some fees. Um, and this guy is roughly 50 as well. So um, what would be cool now is if we could actually go into MetaMask to verify that this uh, recipient address um, does indeed have 49.5 um, of this AUSDC. So um, I would have to grab it from here because I think this is the place where we log it. Um, looking for Avalanche, right? So um, the contract address for this ERC20 um, ASU, the, this USDC token, is deployed at this address. So let's copy that. Um, we can go. Um, Let's go back to the first account. Um, I said I sent it to Avalanche, right? So we'll switch back over to Avalanche. And oh, I guess I already added this. Let's see if we can add it again. Yeah, the token's already been added. So you see that I, here I have 49.5 of uh, this USDC token, um, which is fun to see. Um, so next we're going to go ahead and um, now is where the real fun begins, right? Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, deploy this to testnet, and I'll show you some um, tooling techniques that you'd be able to um, analyze as well as part of that.